Hi friends, welcome to Startup Talk series. In this video, I'm going to talk about what is AWS Lambda and how AWS Lambda scale. Currently, many software startup companies and other companies have started using AWS Lambda because it helps us to use the resources efficiently and it helps us to optimize the operation cost for a company. Let's see more details about AWS Lambda. Now let's see what is AWS Lambda means. AWS Lambda means it's a serverless computing platform. Yes, serverless. That means whenever we need the server it will be running and executing the business logic otherwise there won't be any server or usage of cpu cycle let's take an example say i'm writing aws lambda using java code then i upload the java lambda in s3 packet usually the serverless computing platform will respond to an event it might be s3 packet api gateway or sqs now whenever there is an S3 bucket even comes, the Lambda will pull the code from the S3 bucket. Say for example here in this case it's JVM, it launched the JVM, run the code and then start processing the S3 bucket events. And once there are no more events, then the JVM will shut down. So this is called serverless computing. Why we are calling it as serverless computing? Because there is no dedicated server to handle this events whenever there is an event comes we are launching the computing power and processing it and then shutting it down on demand basis we run the server otherwise it will be shut down so we are not keeping the server idle at all in this case what will happen we are efficiently using the cpu cycle in that case the company's operation cost will be efficiently managed so this is the basics of aws lambda now let's see how aws lambda scale if you look at this picture, we have API Gateway and SQS connected to Lambda. That means whenever there is an SQS event, Lambda will be launched and it will process the SQS event. Or, or if there is an API triggered, then the Lambda will launch and process the API request. In this picture, it's very simple. There is only one request comes and whenever there is a request comes, Lambda will launch and then it will process. And once there are no requests at all for a particular period of time, maybe 10 minutes or 5 minutes, then the lambda will shut down this is very simple it's it's an example for minimum number of requests now let's see what happens if there are more number of requests coming in say there are more number of sqs events are triggered how the lambda will scale let's take an example initially there was one request so lambda will launch and it will start processing this request and once the request is completed it will be waiting for a particular period of time maybe 10 minutes or 5 minutes within that particular time another request comes lambda will start processing it but while the first lambda is processing the first request meanwhile there a second request comes the same time now what will happen there is no lambda to process the second request now what will happen the second lambda will be launched because we have to process the second request. Similarly, whenever a new request comes in and there are no lambdas at all, immediately a new lambda will be launched in order to handle the new request. This is how the lambda scaling happens. And once there are no requests at all, what will happen? All the lambdas will shut down one by one once the reset time is completed. So this is how the AWS Lambda will scale out and scale in. So one of the main benefit is we are able to efficiently use the CPU cycle. We are not keeping the server idle at all. Whenever there is more request comes, we scale the Lambda and then we process the message appropriately and then we shut down. In this case, the operation cost for the company has been efficiently utilized. Especially for the startup company, it is really a big benefit. Friends, I have shared the basic information about AWS Lambda Scale. Hope this small information is helpful. All the best for your career. Please subscribe to interview.channel. Thank you.